How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be taking you through the difference between array slice and array splice in JavaScript because these two arrays, that P between the S and the L here creates a world of difference in terms of the functionality between these two methods because they are completely different and they give you a whole different set of functionality. So it's important to know the difference between these two. And let's jump into the first one, array slice. Okay, starting us off here, we have array slice. Now, array slice allows you to take a portion of an existing array and then create a new array from that portion. So effectively, you're taking a slice out of your array but you're also able to keep the existing array intact. It is a non-mutating method. Okay, so let's see an example. Right here we have a languages array, Python, JavaScript, Java, C++, and Go. Now let's say I want to get the languages Python, JavaScript, and Java out of this array into a new one, okay? I'd say here, const my languages is equal to then say languages.slice, okay? Slice takes in two indexes as arguments. Now, um, you don't need to provide a second one if you don't want to, but just for this example here, I want between Python, JavaScript, and Java. So I'm gonna say here, let's start at index zero. So Python, okay? Then say zero, one, two. We're gonna say index three here. So from zero to three because what this means is this first index is inclusive, okay? It's gonna include whatever is that index zero, of course, being Python. This one is exclusive, so it's going to exclude C++. Okay, so if I was to console log my languages here, we'll see that if I run the script, we do in fact get Python, JavaScript, and Java, okay? If you want the entire array then you simply provide nothing as the second argument. I'll save this, try it again, and we'll see now we get the entire array. We start at index zero and we go, let's get everything. Now, this here seems a little bit useless because it's just a copy of the array, but this is one way to make a copy of an array in JavaScript. But I think more likely with slice, you're gonna provide an index more than zero. So you might say index two. This here means let's ignore index zero and one, start at two and get the rest of it. I'll save this, run the script again. And now we get Java, C++ and Go. This here is a likely use case, especially without the second argument. Now it's also worth mentioning that, uh, yeah, the existing array is left intact. So if I was to hop down here and log out the languages and my languages, you'll see here that the existing array remains the same. There is no mutation with array slice. Array splice does have mutation. The next one we're gonna cover, array splice. So yeah, this one here has no mutation, okay? Now, one last thing to mention here with array uh, slice is that it is gonna support negative indexes. So for example, I can say, let's start at index zero. So we'll say zero here. Then let's get everything up to uh, the last index, but let's exclude it. So we're gonna say here, negative one. Negative one means start from the back of the array. You go negative one is Go, negative two is C++, negative three is Java, and so on. So because we say negative one is Go, it's gonna exclude that one from the list, okay? If I was to save this, I'll get rid of this log for languages and we'll run it again we now only get, of course, the first four in the list there. And before moving on to array splice, just wanna say that this here is gonna be a shallow copy. So if you have uh, arrays or objects in your first array, uh, that there is gonna be copied by reference, which means it's the same array or object shared across both arrays. So be careful um, when it comes to any copying which you are doing. Okay, moving on now to array splice. This one here is completely different to array slice in that it does two things. Firstly, it lets you insert new items uh, into an existing array. 
And the point here is it lets you do it at any position you like, but also it allows you to remove items at the same time as you wish, okay? So right here we have the same languages array and we're gonna be using array splice right now to insert the language Ruby after JavaScript and before Java. So between these two right here. So to do that, we're gonna hop down here and we're gonna say languages.splice, okay? Now, notice how I'm not using a return value just yet. Okay, there's no const new languages equal to. That's because this here is a mutating method. It's gonna update the array in place. Now it does return a value, but I'll get to that very shortly. But for now, we're just gonna say languages.splice here. Now the first argument is an index, okay? So the target index for our insertion between JavaScript and Java is gonna be index number two because we have zero Python, one JavaScript, and of course two Java. So because we want to actually push Java to the right side, we're gonna say index two here. That's our target index. Next, this is a delete count. We're gonna just set it to be zero and I'll talk more about that after this example. So once you have zero here, then you just say what you want to insert. So I'll say here, Ruby, okay? Now I can console.log, the languages array. I'll save this, run the script. And we get Python, JavaScript, Ruby, Java, and so on. So we've inserted Ruby between JavaScript and Java. Now, what's also cool is you can actually provide an infinite amount of arguments here. You can say also, let's do the language of uh, Kotlin, okay? So now we have both these two being added. I'll save this, run it again. Now we get, of course, Ruby and Kotlin after JavaScript, but before Java. Okay, so what is this delete count? This here tells Splice how many items to delete while at the same time inserting these in index two. So if I say delete count one, this means get rid of Java, bang, then insert Ruby and Kotlin, etc. Okay, save this, run it again, and we do indeed uh, get JavaScript, Ruby, and then there's no Java right here. So we've deleted that, that item, okay? Now this here was confusing to me because, you know, back when I was learning, the slice method from before the second argument is an index. So they're both indexes. This one here, because they're both numbers and the first one's an index, this delete count kind of gives the feeling of being an index as well, but it's actually just a count. It's a simple count. How many items to delete, okay? Now, what do you get as a return value from array splice? You get an array of all your deleted items. If I say const deleted equal to, then I console.log deleted, we can see here we get an array of one item, Java. Okay, very straightforward. Now, I wanna lastly mention here that you also get negative indexes as well with this one. So if I was to say negative one, and I'll put this back to zero, and then just say Ruby, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, in this case, the target is now go, the last item. It's gonna take go, push it aside and insert Ruby right there. Okay, run it again. This time logging out the languages. Okay, I might do both just so we can see. Do it again. Of course, now deleted is an empty array. Nothing was deleted because we get zero right here. But also, of course, Ruby is inserted at the end right before go. And one final thing to cover here when it comes to uh, array splice is that if you were, let me just go back to a simple example here. If you were to provide an index, for example, one, without providing a delete count or any more, uh, any more items, what happens is delete count defaults to infinity. So it's gonna start at index one here, JavaScript, and it's just gonna go bang and get rid of all this. So if I try again, we now get only Python in the resulting uh, array. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.